Welcome back to another lesson with Blue and Blue Lion Canine Dog Training. Today we're gonna to discuss duration and operant conditioning. If we've done enough classical conditioning, which is where we mechanically maneuver the dog into position with lures and mark them rewarded, we start to get a dog that offers behaviors that we want them to repeat. If you watch closely, Blue is offering two different positions. He's offering to get onto the platform and he's also offering to go to the down. What I want to get is him to offer the sit. I no longer am luring him to that position. I'm using a gesture and hoping that he will make the correlation between the gesture and the desired response. Again, what we're waiting for him to do is offer a position that he's been rewarded for in the past. This means he's entered the operant learning condition. If you've done your homework by marking and rewarding certain positions, the operant condition comes faster. Timing for the mark, such as a yes or a click, is critical. And what we mean by critical is that if I give a mark with an immediate reward, then it's hard for the dog to make the correlation between what the mark means and what the reward is for. For example, if I mark the behavior and deliver the reward at the same time, the dog has a harder time understanding what the mark means. What you see here is me waiting for Blue to get into the sit position. I'm no longer using the lure to get him to that position. I'm actually waiting for him to offer the sit. Once he gets into the sit, I mark it with a yes. Here you can see we're oscillating back and forth between the operant condition and duration. So duration for us is allowing the dog to hold a position and rewarding it for holding that position. There is a mark for the duration command. Duration could be just continuing to reward the dog for where it's at, but if you're using a mark, you can use the word good. So good for us means just continue doing what you're doing. If every time I say good, the dog knows it's right if I follow it by providing it a reward. I've provided several marks here with the good followed by a reward. When I think he's provided enough duration, I can release him with the word okay, and again, okay is also a mark. If I release the dog with the okay, toss out a reward and let the dog go get it, he then knows he's been released. Here we are again. Our objective was to allow Blue to offer behaviors, so I'm just letting him go back onto the bucket in order for him to learn to go onto it on his own. He is offering, essentially thinking on his own in order to get a reward. Now there's a little bit of distance applied in this exercise, but so long as I have his engagement, it doesn't matter. I want him holding that position and staying engaged with me. Every time he holds his position and stays engaged, he gets a reward. Our goal here is to build the work capacity in the dog so that it learns to hold a position for less and less rewards each time. The longer Blue holds his position and stays engaged, the slower my rate of reinforcement goes. Rate of reinforcement again is how often and how frequent Blue gets his reward. Okay, that's it for today. Remember, your dog's always learning a lesson, so make every lesson a good lesson. See you next time.